Hey everyone, welcome to our garden. Today we will explore the fascinating process of adenium pollination. Adenium, also known as desert rose, is a beautiful flowering plant from Africa and the Middle East. Thank you for your support and comments. I hope you will find this video helpful. Let me show you two simple ways to pollinate adenium. The first method is easy. Here I have a cotton bud. Just hold the flower like this and twist a cotton bud around 10 to 15 times. Repeat the process for 2-3 to three times after the flower has bloomed. It works similarly to how bees and other insects pollinate flowers. When choosing a flower for pollination, pick on that has been open for 1-3 to three days. Older flower won't be able to produce seed pod. Before we start pollinating, let's take a closer look at the flower's structure. You only need to know where to collect pollen and where to place it, without worrying about the scientific names of the pods. Now, for the second method, I will show you how to collect pollen by tearing up a flower. Here's the pollen we collected. Next, we will place the pollen on the stigma of the recipient flower. Use a toothpick to apply pollen through the holes you'll see on the bottom side of the flower. To ensure successful pollination, secure the flower with tape or thread. This prevents other pollen from reaching the stigma and causing cross-pollination. After a few days, you will see new seed pods forming. Keep in mind that pollination might not always be successful but don't give up, just keep trying. Some people ask me how long it takes to get seed pod from a plant. The answer is, if your plant is flowering and you can pollinate it properly, you will get seed pods. However, it's better not to get seed pods from the small plants. Let them grow fast. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gardening videos. Happy gardening.